Disney Pocahontas broke down barriers by giving us the first Disney princess that's a woman of colour. Disney's version of Pocahontas had been mocked in the park for its false telling of the real story of Pocahontas, but the story that provides fluency by itself. Disney's version of the story is about a young Pocahontas woman named Pocahontas in a battle cool between being loyal to her tribe and New Zealanders. She finds herself romantically linked to an Englishman named John Smith that is already engaged to a brave warrior named Kokorum. Pocahontas is forced to choose between her family and curiosity, which ends to do with an exciting path. Let's take a look back at 10 things we didn't know about the animated film. Before we start, if you guys find this video interesting, please let us know and smash the like button. And if you enjoyed the contents of our video playlist and want to see more, please subscribe and don't forget the notification bell to get the updates. Number 10 Pocahontas' Birthday The film's Phantom page notes that Disney released Pocahontas between June 16 and June 23, 1995, to coincide with Pocahontas' 400th birthday. What's interesting about this particular date is that Pocahontas' birthday isn't necessarily known, but it's assumed she was born around 1595. And while she appears to be in her 20s in movies, Pocahontas actually passed away around the age of 20. Number 9 Grandmother Willow was almost Old Man River. Grandmother Rilo may be a tree, but she's a strong character to our Pocahontas. Since Pocahontas deserves her mother physically with her, Grandmother Rilo gives her the material guidance Pocahontas suddenly craves. With the help of Grandmother Rilo, Pocahontas is incredibly in tune to nature and her mother's spirit. But did you know that Grandmother Rilo almost didn't happen? In the first group, Disney had to put the spirit of River instead. They named him Old Man River. Actor Gregory Peake was given the role of Old Man River. But he thought Pocahontas needed a motherly guy more than a man, which is when Grandmother Rilo was born. Number 8 Disney tried their hardest to be authentic and compassionate to the Native American community, although it was scrutinized. Telling the story of a real person can be tricky, especially for Disney. Detailing the historic significance of a Native American tribe had to be authentic and compassionate, but not done at all. Although Disney altered Pocahontas' story for the better of storytelling, they hated Native Americans actors for all the voices. They even had a Native American consultants and historians to make sure they were getting it right. Sadly for Disney, the efforts weren't good enough and the story of Pocahontas was inaccurate. Fans of the field were soon got believing that the life of Pocahontas was like the movie, but when in fact it was nothing alike. Number 7. Miko almost didn't happen. Like many other Disney princesses, Pocahontas had two adorable sidekicks. Mika the raccoon and Flip the hummingbird. These two adorable gifts followed every time of Pocahontas on an excursion that was a comedic relief to an otherwise serious tale. But, did you know that Miko almost didn't make the cut? Disney originally wanted Miko, Flint, and a turkey named Red Feather. They even hired late actor John Candy to voice Red Feather. With Red Feather in the mix, Disney was willing to go to Miko so Pocahontas would only have two sidekicks, but after Candy passed away, Miko was added back to the story. Number 6, a descendant of the real Pocahontas, almost helped Disney. A woman named Shirley, Little Dove, Christelle McGrown, is a descendant of Pocahontas and went on tours along the East Coast to talk more about the Native Americans and their mission in life. She talked about their love for nature and respecting all living things, hoping to keep their name alive. When Disney started production, they touched base with Little Dove and wanted to use her as a consultant, but she was not pleased with the accuracies of her answer to the story. She told the LA Times, Disney promised me historical accuracy. But there is lots to correct when I go to the classroom. Number 5. The voice actors didn't meet each other until the premiere. Pocahontas has his big premiere in Center Park in 1995, where Irene Bredad saw an animated version of herself on screen. As the voice of Pocahontas, Animator Irene studied Irene to copy her mannerisms on screen. It was there she was hoping to beat John Smith aka Mel Gibson for the first time, but was actually too busy filming Braveheart to attend. In fact, the dad and Gibson never met None of the actors filmed together while doing their voice work. The dad was in the studio with Judy Kuhn to project Park at the singing voice and that was it. Number 4. The real Pocahontas wasn't around her mother much, which fit nicely with Disney's theme. It wasn't surprising that Pocahontas didn't have a mother. This new ongoing theme is that most characters are motherless and got independent all with the help of their father. However, Pocahontas was actually originally supposed to have a mother in this film, but after doing the research, Pocahontas was with mother often. In her father's favourite daughter, writing for Cartes about mother made more sense both historically and for Disney. Number 3. The movie took 5 years to complete. Pocahontas and The Lion King were both being created around the same time and Disney animators had to pick their work on either side. Due to the colours and animation of Pocahontas, animators found it more interesting and challenging to work on than The Lion King. 
To avoid the complexity of movements and animation techniques, the artist took 5 years to complete. Number 2. Percy the Pug was real. Okay, so Percy wasn't exactly a bulldog, but he was historically correct. In the film, Governor Radcliffe was leader of the settlers as they entered the lands of Virginia, where Perk Garnet's tribe was located. He was greedy and only cared about the possibility of finding gold. His little sidekick was a pug named Percy, and although Percy was cute, he was just as well as Governor Radcliffe. In real life, historians working on the field found that the British commonly brought small dogs to live on their travels, so here's to say a dog named Percy couldn't have been aboard. Number 1. The film shared the first interracial couple for Disney. Pocahontas and John Smith weren't dating in the film, but they definitely had a romantic connection. Pocahontas was engaged to a man named Cocoon, but kept finding herself running towards his new English settler she just met. She even saved Smith's life from her own father, and while they didn't end up together in the film, they were Disney's first interracial couple, which was truly inspiring open for the time period. Pocahontas is a new classic Disney film, which although got mocked by many, it is still enjoyed by many young children around the world. Did you know any of these facts about Disney Pocahontas? Were there any facts that missed out that should have been put in this list? Let us know down in the comments. If you want to give your family a surprise gift for any special occasion, you can always check our website and look for credit for noble gifts. This is the Music Chess, your music TV fan, signing out.